Good morning, everybody. Uh, I want to thank you very, very much. I'm really, really honored to join uh, the UPF community. And in Kenya, I will speak in a small Swahili word, and we say, Asante Sana. And uh, just a few words about um, my gratitude. And I just want to talk about uh, the power of giving. So the history that has been read um, just is about the history of myself, just trying to see if I could give a little bit more things that I take for granted or that I took for granted to just perhaps, you know, awaken another person's life differently. So, and the biggest lesson I have learned is that if you could just give as much as you can that which you take for granted, it could actually make a very big difference to somebody's life. When I started this program, um, I never knew it would turn out to be a program. I was just responding to my own need in an environment where I found that I was alone most of the time. I thought that, you know, just sharing a little bit more information about career choices would um, introduce a lot more women at a good stage um, into computer science. Honestly, this worked very well and um, has found its ground um, and found very many volunteers championing for this. And they all give their time to just share the same information because the information you have about the career choices you have made you could think that this is just information I get at high school and it's enough, but you'd be surprised. There are a lot of people who have no idea about these careers that we are pursuing, for example, in technology, because they, don't, they haven't met anybody in their lives that they would really uh, say, this is what it looks like to be an engineer. This is what it looks like to be um, a network administrator, even as basic as that uh, kind of role. So just sharing um, and giving information is really a powerful way of, of impacting, impacting, especially young people, uh, because they don't have uh, any direct guidance and there's this uh, information overload today that makes it very confusing. But I just want to say it's worse for uh, the young women, because the experience we have is that a lot of people uh, make women second guess themselves, including parents. You know, um, a girl says, um, I want to, to, to uh, investigate blockchain now. This is, I want to pursue a career in blockchain. I want to create my own uh, ledger that does, you know, whatever it is that they think the world is, you know, due for change on. And somebody says, Are you sure? Are you sure? Is, is, it, is that going to work? And that is already killing a spirit. And so just something simple as that, go ahead and try it, would make a very big difference to so many lives. And just sharing a little bit information on a place where, you know, this person can pursue this program, or a place where uh, they could find more information, or there's ways they can just start off with what they have is really significant. And that's just what I have been doing. And I practice it in so many places and it just changes lives. And I'm so grateful that this is something that has really brought me this honor from the university and so many people around the world. And I, I hope to continue doing this because I think there are so many problems around the world that still uh, can be uh, addressed with uh, such a simple approach to the world problems. So um, I'm really never afraid to give I am always uh, willing to try. I lose nothing. You know, it's, the world is, there's so much abundance in the world that we cannot exhaust it. And so um, I really hope that uh, I will continue to impact lives. I feel really challenged because when I learned that uh, Desmond Tutu of South Africa was uh, one of the people honored here on this, I felt that, wow, that's a lot because he worked so hard in South Africa to make a change in ways that most people didn't even believe would be effective. But there was a great effect, and I still believe it's still the best way. Unarmed struggles are really the most successful ways 
of winning a sustainable struggle in a, a struggle sustainably. So I'm 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 really um, honored, and I really hope that uh, I'll continue this work across you know uh, women in technology, um, you know. African retail sector, which I believe really is due for some work in a different style. And I look forward to a lot of collaboration with the university in whereas areas where there's synergy, and I am completely inspired to keep up on this. Thank you very, very much for this.